When I go out into my garden and look at all the great vegetables, or when I go to the green grocer or to the green market, uh, you see all kinds of great vegetables, and you want to make something a little different. Well, I'm going to make a tian, and tian gets its name from the classic dish in which it's baked. It can be an oval, it can be a square. It is a low-sided baking dish, generally of clay or porcelain, and you can layer the vegetables in this and bake them. That is a tian, sliced vegetables and any combination. Just like a terrine, a terrine gets its name from the container in which it is baked. This is a pate mold or a terrine mold. And you can make a duck pate or a pork pate or um, a liver pate in this beautiful terrine. Generally, they come with covers like that. And then, of course, there is the timbal. It um, is a little metal container like this, sometimes uh, also porcelain. And a timbal is usually a vegetable or a fish puree or a small mousse that is baked in a water bath uh, for tenderness and then turned out of this shape. Well, the tian, uh, and I'm excited to make a tian for you today, we're using one small zucchini, one small Japanese eggplant sliced on the diagonal very thinly and as many sliced tomatoes as you need. And two potatoes. Potatoes sliced gorgeously on this wonderful slicer. Now watch, just like this. Be careful, don't look up, don't slice the tips of your fingers off if you are worried about that. And see how nicely they're sliced? Same thickness, all the vegetables. Look real closely. Important to slice everything pretty much the same thickness. The tomatoes can be slightly thicker because, of course, they are much softer and full of water and they'll cook down faster. If you're worried, as I said, about your fingers, you can use one of these wonderful gloves. You can get these in gourmet stores and cooking supply stores. And the little mandolin saves you a lot of time. Otherwise, you're going to have to use a knife. OK, so now we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of our tian. And you can just spread it around with a slice of potato. And then you start to layer. And you can overlap the slices the way I'm doing right here. So you can build this two different ways. So you can go lengthwise or you can go crosswise. And actually, you might find that going crosswise is faster. You can use any combination of eggplant, onion, tomato. So you can really play around with this and uh, get a, a fine assortment of stripes. Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees because you want to cook this in a hot oven. Make sure, too, that you season everything nicely with salt and pepper, freshly ground. A tian should be almost over-seasoned because it bakes and gets a little bit crispy, and you want it to have a lot of taste per bite. Now, we have so many vegetables sliced here that I could make a whole other tian with no difficulty whatsoever, and I think I'll do that so that we have another one, because this room temperature is delicious. Now, on top, I'm just going to put a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. Just break up the sprigs. And right in the center, I'm going to put an entire head of garlic. You can use the roasted garlic as um, a condiment on your French bread. Now just drizzle over the olive oil, about a quarter of a cup at the most. Transfer this to your 400 degree oven, and uh, while it's baking, you can just swirl it around to make sure that the vegetables are being bathed in that wonderful, fragrant olive oil. So I'm gonna get this right into the oven. I love this clay dish. That's really pretty. And here we have a completed tian. Now, wouldn't you love to bring this to the table? This takes about 40 to 50 minutes. When you serve it, you just take a part of each stripe or take a section and the garlic. Well, this is so good. Slice this right in half like this. And you can see that each one of the garlic cloves is very soft. So you can just squeeze it out of the skins, spread it on a piece of French bread, put that on your plate, and serve a little bit of the tian. So this is a beautiful first course, and it's actually with a piece of grilled fish or a lamb chop. It is a 
fantastic accompaniment any time of year. It's a wonderful way to combine the best vegetables of the season, and it is tasty. I guarantee your friends and your family are gonna love this. It's known in French as Tien, T-I-A-N.